welcome to one and all i am vasanta yes. department of computer science nice, sir write a program to find sum of series sum equals 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus up to x to the power of n consider this is the series by using constructor using constructor then how to write the program for this one see the equation that is sum equals 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube up to x to the power of n this is the series here we have for this we have to write the program as usual first start with the header file ash include io stream dot h io stream dot h this is the supporting header file for c in as well as c out next header file ash include conio dot h this is the supporting header file for clear screen as well as get ch function next ash include math dot h this is the supporting header file to perform power function see the equation here sum equals 1 plus x plus x square x cube x to the power of n we have power option power function work out back on we required this math dot h header file by mistake again you math dot h header file in a birthday laundry when you're going to compile the program on that time you will get the error prototype missing prototype missing and right some header files are missed now we have to start with the program class what is the aim of our program is to find sum of the series by using power then that's why i'm to write the class name is power here class class name we are given as power then in private section we are declaring the variables which are the variables we required in integer format we are declaring to store the result sum then we need x for last power n for incrementation purpose i for example if i'm going to write sum equals for x i'm going to give it as 2 for n also i'm going to give it as 2 then how it will going to find 1 plus 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 if you don't have any variable in the power you can write 1 then the final result will be 1 plus 2 plus 4 that is 3 plus 4 that is 7 like this it will find the series that's why we require the variable here int sum x n for incrementation purpose i then in public section we are declaring the function first function that is default constructor function i'm taking it is default constructor power class name as well as function name are same here i'm initializing sum equals one then close this function see this part up to here we are declared that is sum equals one next i'm going to take void get data function first function power is the first function get data is the second function whereas this is constructor function and this is regular function void compute function then void display function then finally close the class here we have opened now that here we have closed it it means that in this totally we have four function one is power function that's it that is constructor function get data function compute function display function these three are regular function whereas here constructor function now one by one we have to write the statement outside the class first i'm to write the statement regarding get data then what is the return type here we have void then the class from our class name we are given as power then scope resolution operator we are writing the function of get data get data function here we are written semicolon but here we are not writing any semicolon because here we are just declaring now we are writing the statement of this get data function that's why don't put any semicolon here here see out insertion operator enter x and n values next c in extraction operator x extraction operator n close this function 
get data function we are written next i am going to write the compute function what class name we are given as power power scope resolution operator compute function compute function on this what is our aim to find sum of the given series that's why here if i don't have any power here x empty we have we can write x to the power of 1 then power comes from 1 2 3 up to n that's why we can start for i equals don't start from 0 the power we are writing that's why the power start from 1 i is equals 1 i is less than or equals to n i plus plus Nee another i is less than or equals to n minus 1 anta barutre na en power series kottirtivi less than 1 agogutte illi n minus 1 anta kottre that's why here you have to write i is less than or equals to n for example minus 1 anta kottre enagutte na power 3 kottre power 2 ge stop agutte up to power where we are given till that it has to process for that purpose i is less than or equals to n we have to write then what is the calculation now the series we have to write sum equals sum that is sum equals 1 plus power p u power function power of x comma i then semicolon now first time x comma i power function x to the power of 1 it will take the next x to the power of 2 it will take up to i is less than or equals to n till that this function will work then close this function now here we are closed with this function for for loop don't put semicolon it's a looping purpose that's why don't put any semicolon here next we want to write the display function what power function power then scope resolution operator display function on this display function we want to display the result that's why see out insertion operator the sum of the series equals then display the value where exactly the result is present on sum that's why insertion operator sum we will write then close this display function now we will write the main program in the main program void main void main on this create the object how to create the object that is class name power then object we will write we are creating the object when we are going to create the object immediately this constructor function by itself it will going to execute no need to call this function separately while writing the rules of constructor only i told you when we are going to create the object immediately the constructor function it will going to execute automatically by itself next call the function one by one clear screen clr scr call the function object dot get data function then object dot compute function last object dot display function then get ch finally close the main program which you opened now we will show you how to execute this program on the system now we will explain write a program to find sum of the series that is 1 plus x plus x square up to x to the power of n using constructor function to perform that click on dos box there you will get the screen click on file new option maximize the screen first write in the comment section it is optional for you if you want you can use single line command otherwise multi line command also you can use write a program write a program to find sum of the series sum of the series that is 1 plus 1 plus x plus x square
x square up to x to the power of n x to the power of n using constructor close the comment section now start typing the program here first start with the header file ash include io stream dot h header file this is a supporting header file for scene as well as see out next header file ash include conio dot h this is a supporting header file for clear screen as well as gets h next ash include math dot h this is a supporting header file for mathematical functions next start with the class class here the class name we are given as power inside this in private section declare the variable private here int x comma n comma i comma sum next in public section declare the functions that is in public section we have to declare the functions now first we are taking the constructor especially here we are taking the default constructor the class name as well as function name are same power class name and function name are same it does not have any return type specifier not even void also here especially we are taking default because inside the bracket we don't have any arguments inside this we are going to initializing that is sum equals 1 sum equals 1 we are initializing this is a first function power function it is a default constructor function next we want to write the remaining function that is void get data function next one to void compute function next void display function next close the class to close the class flower bracket then at the end you have to put semicolon next one by one write down the statement void void power function power is the class name scope resolution operator get data function inside this we have we have to write c out inside the double quotes enter the value of x and n to move the cursor next line end line function next c in extraction operator x extraction operator n two values we are input here then close this function next function we write that is void power function next function not power function that is compute function in a power class void power there compute function next here open the flower bracket here write down the for loop for i equals 1 the first power x to the power of 1 the next i is less than or equals to n less than or equals to n then i plus plus i starts from that is x to the power of 1 we have up to the last it has to perform that's why i is less than or equals to n anta kodbeku nee venadru equals to n anodu kottilla andre bari less than n anta kotre last series so process thogolodilla then next you have to write sum equals sum of plus pow that is power function x comma i 
POW that is power function, it's a mathematical function. E function work out by Kondre compulsory. We have to include the header file math.h, otherwise, this function will not work. Then next, close this function. Next, we have to write the next function void power this is the class name, scope resolution operator, display function. Now we have to display the value that is C out insertion operator inside the double quotes sum of the series equals display the sum value because the result is present on sum then close this function. Now in the main program void main there write down the functions that is first create the object, power is the class name, p is the object name. Next CLR, SCR. Next p dot is the, p is the object name. With the help of object we have to call all the function that is p dot get data function. Next p dot compute function. Next one p dot display function next get ch close the main program which you opened now after this first you have to save the program while saving the program here i given as experiment 10 dot cpp compulsory here to save with the extension dot cpp once you are saved, here the name it will display. Whatever name you are given, that name here it will display. Compile the program. There it is displaying statement missing semicolon. First error. Then statement miss again. Where exactly it is missed? Where exactly the cursor is pointing on that line? Otherwise, above that line or below that line, there will be mistake in semicolon. Here we are not written semicolon. Write on the semicolon. Next, once again compile. Still, where two errors? Computer is not a member function of power. Now, function name in Koti Divi, compute and the Koti Divi. Illi call Madavoga, computer and the Koti Divi. Then it is not a correct one. You have to make the correction. The function name is compute. Compile. Once again, we have one error. Get DCH should have a prototype. Get CH Badlunavo, get DCH. We are written. Make the correction here. Now, compile the program. There is no any error. Once again, save the program, run the program, enter the value of x and n. For example, x I am going to enter 5 and then for n I am going to enter 4. Then sum of the series is 7, 81 it is showing. 7, 80. Once again, we will run and we will check. For example, x I am going to enter 2 and for n also I am going to enter 2. Then what is the result? 1 plus 2 plus 4 that is 7. Now it is correct. Now is it clear for all of you? Next class we will meet with one more experiment. Thank you for all of you to come out from that quit then exit.